Where's your oh, bit of paper? Yeah, we we go. got it to you. Do the throw, please. <laughs> Cameras on these people. Let's get is right. what it was. Coming up next, next the, the Dead, dead Sea Lion. Not the Dead Clive. The Dead Sea Lion. And a brand so that live for the first time on television network or otherwise, one of the most extraordinary bands New Zealand's ever produced. Love them or hate them, I don't give a damn. We've got the Dead Sea. They're absolutely marvellous. Robbie Yeats on drums. That's oh, a friend. I've got to say that. <laughs> Righty ho! Thank you, Dead Sea. Look at it. Rocking stuff. Crazy stuff. Loving the next. School education. Um, there's a, there was a band called Suicide. I don't know if they're actually still going or not. The Dead Sea Cats are here to um, help with, with this as well. They're kind of like um, an early electronic band, just um, drum, a drum machine, and a guy that sounded like Elvis Presley. To me, Alan Vega, the singer, was Elvis Presley. Um, he was basically my Elvis. They should have done the music to Twin Peaks, in my opinion. A beautiful, beautiful band called Suicide. They did their first album, I think, in 1977. Is that right, Dead Sea Cats? 76. 76. Okay, you're ready to put me to uh, correct me on that one. Um, a huge influence on a lot of bands, and also New Zealand bands, you know? Like, uh, you know, influence Many on yourself. Many bands yourselves, we know and love. Us? Yeah. You as well? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, quintessential. They're ubiquitous. They're everywhere. Right. There's a few words that... Um, Ubiquitous that was means everywhere. <laughs> everything that was essential scripted. means um, <laughs> capturing the spirit which uh, encapsulates everything from yeah. it. This particular album, um, this is why I focused on it this week, is uh, just available uh, recently a double of some basement tapes that Suicide did and also um, the second Suicide album. What was it called? 
It doesn't Just have a title. Vague, Alan Vega. Right. Could be called yeah. Martin yeah. Rev Alan Vega. Okay. The, uh, and it includes the Dream Baby Dream 12 inch. Which yeah, lovely. Which is really good. Soft Cell with a Sun Don't Shine if you have that song. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It makes Soft Cell look pretty... Soft. 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 That was a little thick and soft, I reckon. Um, they also influenced a band, I reckon, uh, by the name of Snapper, or a New Zealand band, who... Um, well, Peter Gutteridge was in that band, and uh, still is. Yeah, the, well, still is, yeah. And pretty much everything he's touched from the clean onwards, great unwashed, um, is just absolutely brilliant. And they did a tune called Buddy. Let's have a look at that for just a minute. I'll give you a bit of an idea of what suicide has been. There you go, Snapper, and tune called Buddy. It'll give you some idea about um, suicide and uh, the influence that they've had. You guys, Dead Sea, you're playing live this weekend in Auckland? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. King's Arms. King's Arms. I'm going to be there. Wild Horses, etc. We hear it's very nice. And you've got a new CD out. Flying Nun, forthcoming compilation yeah, look, of early recordings. I'm doing the uh, holding films. of CDs tonight. Well. Oh, who wants it? You want it? And many of our other albums are available, more than anyone need count, really. Yeah. They're all um, <laughs> just like each other. Well. You're not famous for being a top ten pop band, really. I'm afraid not. Uh, Colin McCart of music in some ways. <laughs> That's very sweet. Equally yeah. dark. Were there three of him? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Were there three of him? Uh, there weren't three of three him, faces, but he perhaps. did use paintbrush. He did like trip to Easel. <laughs> we are a, a trip to We are. We are. Uh -huh. Very good. How about that, huh? Mm. Can hey, you um, spell it? Sorry. T-R-Y-P-T-I-C. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, good. Hey, um...